If you like. Raspberries? Lots of them. Save some for me. Three. <clears throat> All right. Now, once upon a time, there was a great king in need of a queen. And he gathered all the fair young maidens in the land. That would be Elsa and me! Of course. Now, each one had to pass before the king to show their worth. They had to be beautiful, well-educated, and possess a special gift. Elsa would run easily! Why not? Let your father finish. Now, out of all the young maidens, Esther was chosen to be queen. She was a great queen, but this was to be tested. A wicked man devised an evil plan to kill Esther and her people. That's terrible! Wasn't she afraid? Very. But in the face of fear, Esther offered up her life for her people by going with the king uninvited. And the king saw this bravery and ruled in her favor. Were they all saved? All of them, including Esther. And they lived happily ever after. It's a true story. Wait. So she's a real queen? Yes. Now hugs and kisses and lights out. Good night, Papa. Good night, Papa. Good night, Anna. Good night, Papa. Good night, Anna. Good night, Anna. Good night, Elsa. Good night, Papa. Good night, girls. Wisdom and power. 
Charles, come on, Sam, let's follow him. Please, somebody help, it's my daughter. It's my daughter. Elsa struck her with her powers. She struck her right in the noggin. Hmm, I see. Get her prepared. Has Elsa always had this gift? Yes. She was born with them. And they seem to be getting stronger. There, there. You came to the right place. You're lucky it wasn't her heart. The heart is not so easily changed, but the head can be persuaded. So, you can help her? Oh, Grandpappy's been around and he's seen it all. He gets his wisdom from the ancient book of time. We can heal her, but her memories of Elsa's powers will have to be removed, just to be safe. But don't worry, little one. We'll leave the fun memories. She'll be okay. But she won't remember all the powers. Elsa, it's for the best. Listen to me, Elsa. You have been blessed with a great gift. And like all gifts, if not used in love, can be used for the wrong purpose and have great danger. You must learn to control it. Fear will be your enemy, and the consequence? Death. No! We'll protect her. She'll learn to control it. Until then, we'll lock the gates, reduce the staff, and limit her contact with people. And I'll have the mates move Anna's bed to another room. Yes. We'll keep her powers hidden from everyone. Especially Anna.
like that. Oh, I haven't done that since I was a kid. Are you okay? Oh, oh did I hurt you? Only my pride. I'm okay. okay. Whoa. I whoa. Whoa. Oh, you're a, a man. I am. My name is Hans. Hans? You're kind of strong, too. I am Prince Hans of the Southern Isles, at your service. Oh, um, I am Princess Anna of Arendelle. It is nice to meet your acquaintance. Princess? My lady. Oh, oh, whoa. oh, oh. Hi, again. Hello. Oh, this is awkward. Not that you're awkward, just that I'm awkward. You're gorgeous. Wait, what? Did I just say that out loud? I'd like to formally apologize for hitting the Princess of Arendelle, and for every moment after. What? No, 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 no. I'm not that princess. I mean, if you'd have my sister Elsa, it would be yish, because, well, you know. But lucky you, it's just me. Just you? Well, yeah. Well, the bells, the coronation. I gotta go. Wait! Don't go. You don't have to be embarrassed, princess. Oh, I'm just me. Cause I am someone even more embarrassing to be. I'm only the thirteenth son of a king. Of a very small kingdom. Of very small islands to the south. And nobody sings about this humble face, or my lack of grace, or quotes what comes out of my mouth. Thank goodness <laughs> I've journeyed a long way to see your sister crowned, to honor and to back you, yet here I don't snap you to the ground. Please accept the humblest of apologies from a clumsy prince who's only come to serve and please with a line of mean big brothers that goes on for miles. A man you won't see in a statue of bronze, just Hans. Of the southern eyes. Hi, Hans of the Southern Isles. Hi, Anna of Arendelle. Who are they on? I hear bells. What? <laughs> Oh, I never heard them at all till there was you. Anna, the coronation is about to begin. I. Bells. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go! Oh, the hotel, the coronation, the queen! I can. Bye!
Ah, senorita, se es muy bonito. Magnífico. This way, Elsa. Anna, you too. It's your big day. It's coronation day! <laughs> you know, it's kind of a big day for me too. I, I mean, I don't get crowned or anything like that. Although it is a really big crown. <laughs> it's the day I've been waiting for. They opened up the gates. Boy, did they ever look at all those people! <laughs> Elsa, it's a dream where dreams come true. Our dreams are finally coming true. I can't be what you expect of me. But I'm trying every day with all I do. And do not say here on the edge of the abyss, knowing everything in my whole life has led to this. And so I pull inside myself, close the walls, but of my guard, I've practiced every single day for this. So why is it so hard? And I'm not what I see. 
gentlemen, magistrates and dignitaries, we are honored that you have joined us today for Arendelle's special event, the crowning of our new queen, Queen Elsa. Long live queen! To initiate this evening's festivities, a special performance from the Karov Ballet. festivities proceed.
Harbor's only open for two months out of the year. And as your closest partner in trade, this scene's only fitting after your uh, first dance as queen. Oh, no! Oh, thank you. Only I don't dance. Oh, come now, your highness. You don't need to play coy with me. Oh, well, actually, my sister dances quite well. What? I do? Yes. Remember with Olaf. No, that wasn't dance. Did you were quite no, good. Olaf. Lucky you. Sorry. <laughs> well, uh, try to keep up. I was uh, first in my uh, fifth grade class. <laughs> Whoa. How is it that the queen has a very beautiful sister? Two very uh, eligible women living in the very same castle. Um, we grew up that way, I guess. Speaking of castles, it's so wonderful to have the gates finally open. So mysterious, they were shut for so many years. What's the big secret, huh? Well, um, we have big secrets? No, well, there's one secret that right is out. There are two very beautiful sisters living right within our walls, and I intend to become better acquainted with my neighbors. <laughs> Hang on, they don't call me a little dipper for nothing. <laughs> Me too. 
but I can't. But why? What happened to us, Elsa? Just can't. <clears throat> Fine. Excuse me for a minute. Where is she going? She needs a breath of fresh air and I need to sit down. Oh, 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 oh. Glad I caught you. Hi. <laughs> Are you all right? Shall we? Hey, what's this? Oh, um, I was born with it. Although I dreamt I was kissed by a troll. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like it. Tell my brothers about you, they will be so jealous. So wait, how many brothers do you have? Twelve older brothers, actually. Although, three of them pretended I was invisible. Literally for two years. That's horrible! It's just what brothers do, I guess. And sisters. Elsa and I were really close once, but then she shut me out and... I never knew why. Oh, no. I would never shut you out. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Can I just say something crazy? I love crazy. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. But then suddenly I bumped into you. I was just thinking the same thing. It's like, I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. And maybe it's the party talking or the chocolate fondue. But with you, but with you, I've found my place. And it's nothing like I've ever known before. Love is in open door. Each other's sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. I've never met someone who thinks think so much like me. Jinx! Jinx again! A little synchronization can't have the one explanation. You and I were just meant to be.
Abigail, could we just get around you there, please? Will you pass us up? Oh, mercy! Ah, mercy! <laughs> She's a lovely girl, sort of fan. Yes, but who is he? Oh, there she is! Elsa! Elsa! Oh, I mean, Queen Elsa. Me again. <laughs> May I introduce Prince Hans of the Southern Isles? Your Majesty. We would like your blessing of our, our marriage. marriage. Marriage? Yes! I'm sorry, I'm confused. Oh, well, we don't have all the details worked out ourselves. I mean, of course, we'll have to have a few days to plan the ceremony. Oh, and then we will have soup, roast, and ice cream! <gasps> Wait! Would we live here? Here? Absolutely! <gasps> we can invite all 12 of your big, burly brothers to stay with us! What? Oh, we have plenty of room. I mean, Wait! Slow down. No one's brothers are staying here, and no one is getting married. Wait. <laughs> what? Anna, can I talk to you alone, please? Whatever you have to say, you can say to both of us. Fine. You can't marry a man you've just met. You can if it's true love. Anna, what do you know about true love? More than you. All you know is how to shut people out. I'm sorry, Anna. You asked for my blessing, but my answer is no. Now, excuse me. Your Majesty, if I may ease No! You may not. And I think you should go. The party is what? over. Close the gates. What? No, Elsa. Elsa, no! Give me my glove! Please! Please! You have to trust what I'm doing is best for both of us. But I can't live like this anymore. Then leave. Leave? Why would you? What did I ever do to you? Enough, Anna. No. Why? Why do you shut me out? Why do you shut the world out? What are you so- I did it now! It's the queen! She did it! Sorcery! I knew it! I told you something dubious was going on here! Elsa! Get in the way! Go after her! Your Majesty! Are you alright? No! I'm not! I fear this day would come and it has! Forgive me, Papa! I can't do this anymore! There she is! Stop her! Stay away from me! Just don't touch me! A monster! You're a monster! No! No, Elsa! Come here. 
You know what? I promise we'll go to the trading post and stock up real soon, okay? Hey, I know something that'll cheer you up. How about a nice lullaby? Reindeers are better than people. Sven, don't you think that's true? Yeah, people will beat you and curse you and cheat you. Every one of them's bad except you. Thanks, buddy. But people smell better than reindeers. Sven, don't you think I'm right? You once again true for all except you. You got me. Let's call it a night. Good night. Don't let the frost Troll village. She's about the right age. 
Yeah, she is, isn't she? Oh, here she comes. How'd you know they'd be my sons? <laughs> Not quite the fashion statement, but a lot more practical. Oh, wait! I thought we were walking. Your chariot awaits me, lady. Hop in. <gasps> oh, this is much better. <laughs> we are riding in style. Whoa, whoa, get your feet down. That is a fresh coat of lacquer. Seriously, were you born in a barn? Ew. No, I was born in a castle. So, tell me what got all queen and huff and go ice crazy. <laughs> oh, well, it was all my fault. I got engaged, she freaked out because I only met the guy, you know, that day. And so she decided not to bless the marriage. Wait a and, second. Uh, you got engaged to some guy you just met? Yeah. Anyways, I got mad, and so she got mad. And then I grabbed her glove. Wait and a I, second. <clears throat> you mean to tell me you got engaged to some guy you just met that day? Yes. Aren't you listening? Uh-oh. What? I think the crossbar's broken. Oh, is that important? We're gonna have to walk to the trading post after all. You should grab your stuff. <gasps> I left my dress! Hope you got another one. You know, the funny thing is, she always wore the gloves. So I just thought, maybe she's got a thing about dirt. Dirt? What are you talking about? Uh, Elsa, me getting engaged. Right, right. We got engaged to some guy you just met and barely know. I know him. Okay, so what's his favorite food? Sandwiches. That was easy. What's his best friend's name? Probably Jonathan. <laughs> Have you had a meal with him yet? What if you hate the way he eats? What if you hate the way he picks his nose? Picks his nose? And eats it. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Hans is a prince. All men do it. <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter. It's true love! It ain't true love, sweetheart. And you would know? Trust me, I have friends that are love experts. <laughs> that is rich. Haven't your parents ever warned you about strangers? Yes, they did. But Hans is not a stranger. Okay, so what's his last name? Of the Southern Isles! That's not a last name. What's his foot size? Foot size doesn't matter. Yeah, but knowing a man before you marry him kind of does. You got opinions on my life and my relations? Well, let me tell you what. Okay, enlighten me. Love is the one thing that has simple complications, and I can trust my gut. Okay, you frighten me. Some people know their hearts the minute some people read a lot of books. I like books. Simply know when true love says hello. Some folks are taken in by curly locks and princely looks. He does have princely looks. We agree on that one. Right. By the way, what color eyes does he have? All I'm saying is when you go to climb mountain, you don't just jump to the top. If it's true love, you can't. You're scaling and scrambling and too many steps for counting And the work doesn't stop Maybe for you Love's not an easy climb You have to take your time We get a whole life, that's a plan That's not a plan Love's not a thing you get It's work and tears and sweat So says a swelly, smelly mountain man Oh, what do you know about love? Anyone with half a life would have one friend who's not a 
Adieu. Adieu. Any fool who jumps in love is gonna bang their head. Any fool who doesn't jump right now is probably gonna end up dead. Like I said, you okay there? I've been better. You should have listened to me. I've got good instincts. I know danger when I see it. <gasps> Just like I know love when I see it. <laughs> Whoa! You gotta think things through in life and in love. Touche. All right, grab on and brace yourself. Ready? Here we go. I'd like to point out that we've come a good long way here, and that you're wow, really strong. I lift a lot of ice. You saved my life just now. Yes, I gotta say it here. My first impression was wrong. And see, you're nice. That jump was really brave. Your catch was quite a save. You've got some guts. You've got some brains. Thanks. There's miles and miles to go. I guess it's nice to know that I can trust you. The question still remains What do we do know about the world? Just be careful What do we do know about love? Have a little faith At I'll least we know one thing This trip should be interesting What do you know about love? Just 
sweating our steam. The sky will be blue, and you guys will be there too. When I finally do what frozen things do in summer. Oh, 
Oh, lots. All right, I get you, Jis. Hey, what sauce you get for your rhinoceros? This is risky. They'll be okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, no, Dolph. Oh, afternoon, Crystal. How you doing, Esmond? Not so good. There's more ice than we can handle. We're all loaded up with no place to go. So bad luck with this weather. It's playing some nasty tricks. It sure is. Speaking of loads, where's your sled? We ran into some bad luck of our own. We're here for supplies. You better hurry. Looks like there's a storm brewing up in the North Mountain. So you do have friends besides Sven. There you are, Kristoff! Where have you been? Oh, round. <laughs> oh, is this someone important, or do we just ignore her? Oh, uh, just ignore her. Hello! Hello. <laughs> My name is Princess Anna of Arendelle. Princess! Well, well. Why'd you drag her way up here? I didn't. I just found her. Oh, well, you just found her. What, a snowdrift? No, she just kind of plopped in my camp. So she is with you? No, she's not with me. You're getting all this stuff. Let me explain. Kristoff and I are not together. I have hired Kristoff to help me find my sister, and that is all. Well, if anyone can help you, it's Kristoff's. Which is why we better get going. Nice talking with you, Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> you have lots of friends. Friends always sticking their nose into other people's business. That's why I stick with Sven. Oh, there's the trading post. <gasps> Ooh, wandering Oaken's trading post. Ooh, and Sana. Oh no, no, Sana. We gotta get back to the sled before dark. Oh, you. Big summer blowout, <laughs> uh, <laughs> swimming suits, clouds, and a sunbomb of my own invention, yeah? Oh, uh, how about boots? Uh, winter boots and a uh, warm dress? Uh, that would be in a uh, winter department. Oh. Um, hey, I was just wondering, huh? Um, have you seen another young lady, I don't know, the queen perhaps, pass through here? And the only one's crazy enough. To be up in this weather is you, dear. You and this fellow. You who picks up my blowout. And the only queen <coughs> he'll be seeing any time soon is me. Hello, I'm Verbena, and I run this joint. Really? When did this happen? <sighs> when we got married last summer, and she brought two kids. Looks like you're all settled in. Yeah. You got any carrots? Hansel, go and fetch the carrots, yeah? Sure, Pops. Hey, it's a real howler in July, yeah? Wherever could it be coming from? The North Mountains, what we heard. Yes, they say there's magic going on. Up Who there. says that? Have they seen anything? No, no one can get close enough. Kristoff, we should get going. Gretel, show this nice lady to where the winter department is. This way, lady. Here's the carrots, mister. Thanks. Want to feed one of my reindeer? Oh, boy and howdy. What's his name? Sven. Here's Sven, and I got something for you. Five, fifteen, and then maybe fourteen. Forty? Since when? No, oh, ten. Oh, dear. That's no good. You see, these are from our winter department, where supply and demand has a big problem. You and me both. I sell ice for a living. Ice? Sana as well. Yoo-hoo! Hi, family! Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Listen, Ted's all I got. You have to help me out. Okay, Ted will get you this and no more. Boy, I got it. And what seems to be the problem? <laughs> Nothing. I'm gonna go. Bye-bye! <laughs>
the gates. Go on! And where did you get these gloves, young lady? Those belong to Princess Anna. Prince Hans said I could use them to keep warm. Hmm, did he now? Cloak! Cloak! Does anyone need a cloak? Cloak? The castle is open. There is soup and hot glog in the great hall. Arendelle is indebted to you, your highness. Here, pass these out. Prince Hans, are we expected to sit and freeze? Will you play nursemaid to all these, these people? Why are you letting them into the castle? And handing out all of Arendelle's marketable goods, even the chocolate, it's just not done that way. I'm following Princess Anna's wishes. Wishes? She wishes all these smelly people to be in her house. And that's another thing. Has it dawned on you? Your precious princess? Maybe conspire with the wicked sorceress? They're probably skinning right now. They're gonna turn the blood in their veins to icicles! <laughs> Are you always this dramatic? If it was up to me, I'd be my regards in Westland and to carry the land. Well, it's not! She left me in charge. And I will not hesitate to protect Arendelle from treason. Treason? Watch you accuse treason, boy. Why, I know that I... Let me through. My lord, we found this in the snow. It's Princess Anna's dress. So where's the princess? Where could she be? Where is she? Princess Anna is in danger. But she said her sister would never harm her. It's a trap. Enough! Please. What the queen's motivations are, I cannot say, but honors, I assure you, are pure and noble. And why should this be you? I'm only the thirteenth son of a king, nor am I a leader, only her fiancé. But my love for her has made something clear. We can't give in to fear, not here, not today. We can't know how threatening the road ahead will be, but put your faith in honor the way that honor put her faith in me. I can't tell you what the princess sees in me, but let me tell you what an honor it would be if you would let me lead you through these times of Bonds, trust haunts at the Southern Isles. What of the Queen? The Queen will be dealt with, and Anna and I will lead you back to some. Just go along with it. He's more than the thirteenth son of a king. We're lucky he came along that time with me. We'll never give in to fear to treason. My men and I, my lord. Yes, why Sultana rises and offers up the power of his sword. I call to your kingdom. A kingdom responds to heart. Follow heart. Prince Pons of the Southern
probably just as well you're not here. Although I miss you. It hurts so deep inside. Why did you leave me alone? I just wish you were here. Now all I have is the memory of you.
really, really, really heavy, especially when they wrestle. But they're fine. They mean well, most of the time. Kristoff, they sound wonderful. <laughs> really? Okay, then. Me and my family. Hey, guys! Hello! Um, are they hiding behind the rocks? <laughs> Quartz, you're a sight for certain eyes. That's it! He's crazy! Rocco's looking as sharp as usual. Whoa, is that Clay? I didn't even recognize him. You lost so much weight. I'll distract him while you run. <clears throat> Hi, Sven's family. It's nice to meet you. Because I love you, Anna. I insist you run. I understand you are a love expert. Why aren't you running? Okay, I'm, I'm going to go. Anna, wait. Is something supposed to happen? Just wait. Whoa! There you guys are! Christoph's home! Christoph's home! Christoph's home! Wait, Christoph. Let me look at you. Take off your clothes, I need to wash No, I'm gonna keep my clothes on, thank you. Listen, it's great to see you all, but where's Grandpa? Oh, he's napping. But look, I grew a mushroom. I earned my fire crystal. I passed the kidney stone. Getting big, you're not a pebble anymore. Trolls! They're trolls! He's bright! Is that a real girl? Aw, she's like a little cupcake. Christoph, what's going on? I've learned a role. Let me look at you! Bright eyes, working nose! Look at those strong teeth. Yes, she'll do nicely for our Christoph. What? 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 Um, no. No, 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 no. That's not why I brought her here. What's the issue, dear? Why are you holding back from such a man? Is it the clumpy way he walks? Or the grumpy way he talks? Or the piercing, worship weirdness of his feet? And though we know he washes well, he always ends up sort of smelly. But you'll never meet a fella who's as sensitive and sweet. So he's a bit of a fixer upper, so he's got a few flaws. That's a little outside of nature's laws. So he's a bit of a fixer upper, but this for certain of. You can't fix this fixer upper up with a little bit of love. Can we please stop talking about this? I mean, we have an actual real life problem. I'll say. So tell me, dear, is it the way that he runs scared? Or that he's socially impaired? Or that he <laughs> Or the way he covers up that he's the honest guys. He's just a bit of a fixer upper. So he's got a couple of bugs. No, I don't. His isolation is confirmation of his desperation for healing hugs. So he's a bit of a fixer upper, but we know what to do. The way to fix up this fixer upper is to fix him up with you. Enough! She's engaged to someone else, okay? Fixer upper. That's a minor thing. This quote engagement is a flex arrangement. And by the way, I don't see no way. She's a bit of a fixer upper. Her brain's a bit betwixt. Get the fiance out of the way, and the whole thing will be fixed. Ah. We're not saying you can change because people don't really change. We're only saying that love's a force, powerful and strange. the best. 
Mary. sister put it there? If not removed, your heart will turn to solid ice and you will freeze forever. What? No! You can stop this, can't you, Grandpappy? I cannot, Kristoff. But I've seen you stop it before. If it were her head, it would be easy. But only an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. An act of true love? A true love's kiss, perhaps? That's right! Anna, we gotta get you back to Hans. Oh, Hans? Hans. <laughs> Sven, pull us out. Olaf, come on! I'm coming! Let's go kiss Hans! <laughs> Who is this Hans? This is it, my lord. I'm sure to be inside. Along with the queen. Proceed cautiously. The queen is dangerous. The duke is right. The element of surprise will be to our best advantage. On the instant, sir! This way!
not go any faster? The storm seems to be getting worse. Olaf, stay with Anna. Sven, let me help you. We gotta get Anna back to haunt. What is this hollow kind of helplessness I'm feeling? This type of terror is new. And the fact that I can hardly breathe is now revealing how much I've changed because of you. You light the world for me. You live life fearlessly, braver than the bravest of us do. You trust, you hope, you dare. You choose to feel and care. I thought that I was strong till I bumped into you. What do I know about love? Everything I thought I did, you've gone and changed it. meet your approval. It was a mistake to bring me here. I couldn't have just let them kill you. Not here, to the castle with all the people. I am in danger to Arendelle. You have to tell them to let me go. Where is my sister? Anna is still missing in her attempt to find you. What? Don't worry. We have scouts out looking for her. We'll find her. Now. If you would just stop the winter and bring back summer, please. Don't you see? I don't know how. You have to tell them to let me go. I will do what I can. It's, it's Princess Anna. Oh. Will you be all right? Don't worry about me. Princess Anna! You're back. We're so worried. Get a warm and find Prince Hans immediately. We will, thank you. Let's get you inside and get you warm. Make sure she's safe. I'm going back out to look for Princess Anna. No, Senor Hans. You cannot risk going out there again. If anything happens to her... If anything happens to the princess, you are all Arendelle has. I will find Princess Anna. The princess? She isn't here. I'm asking for you. Anna! Anna! We've been looking for you since we found you. You're so cold. Hans, you have to kiss me. What? Now! Whoa! Now! Slow down! Oh. We'll give you two some pregnancy. What happened out there? Elsa struck me with her powers. You said she would never hurt you. I know. I was wrong. Oh, Anna. She froze my heart, and only an act of true love can save me. A true love's kiss? Oh, Anna. If only there was someone out there who loved you. I thought you did. As 13th in line in my own kingdom, huh. I didn't stand a chance. I knew I'd have to marry into the throne somewhere. Hans, what are you saying? As heir, Elsa was the preferred, of course, but no one was getting anywhere with her. But you. Hans. You were so desperate for love. You were willing to marry me. 
Just like that. I figured after we were married, I'd have to stage a little accident for Elsa. No, Hans, but stop! But as fate would have it, she doomed herself, and you, you were dumb enough to go after her. I couldn't have planned it better myself. No, please, please! All that's left now is to kill Elsa and bring back Summer. No, you are no match for Elsa. <laughs> no, you're no match for Elsa. I, on the other hand, am the hero who is going to save Arendelle from destruction. You won't get away with oh. this. I already No, no, no! Somebody help! Help! Getting colder by the minute. If we don't do something soon, we're gonna freeze to death. Please, Hans. Sir, is everything all right? No. I was too late. Princess Anna <coughs> is dead. No. What? What happened to her? She was killed by Queen Elsa. Her own sister. At least we got to exchange our marriage vows before she died in my arms. There can be no doubt about it now. Queen Elsa's a monster. We're all in grave danger. Prince Hans, Arendelle looks to you. Somebody, somebody please help me. Help me! Oh God! How did I get back here? All I ever wanted was for someone to love me. For someone to call my own. True love. What is that? True love has failed me. <laughs>
So this is he. I love it. Ooh, but don't touch it. Ow. So where's Hans? What happened to your kids? I was wrong about him. It wasn't true love. But we hurried all the way here. Olaf, you can't stay here. You'll melt. I'm not leaving until we find another act of true love to save you. Happen to have any ideas? I don't even know what love is. Oh, I do. That's easy. Love is putting someone else's needs before yours, like, you know, how Kristoff brought it back here to Hans and left you forever. Kristoff loves me? Wow. You really don't know anything about love, do you? Olaf, you're melting! Oh! Some people are worth melting for. Just maybe not this second. Oh, I do. That's easy. Love is putting someone else's needs before yours, like, you know, how Kristoff brought it back here to Hans and left you forever. Kristoff loves me? Wow. You really don't know anything about love, do you? <gasps> oh, love, you're melting! Some people are worth melting for. Just maybe not right this second. Don't worry, I've got it. We're gonna get through the... Wait, hang on, I'm getting something. <gasps> Is that... It can't be! What? Who? It's Kristoff and Sven and they're coming this way! They are? Wow, he's really moving fast. I guess it was wrong. I guess Kristoff doesn't love you enough to leave you behind. Olaf, help me up. No, 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 you need to stay by the fire to keep warm. No, I need to get to Kristoff. Why? Oh, I know why! There's your act of true love right there! Riding across the forest like a valiant pungent reindeer king! Come on, this way, Anna! Coast is clear. Follow me, princess. Let's go find that knight of yours. Thank you. 
turned from the mountain weak and cold. You froze her heart. No. I tried to save her, but it was too late. Her skin was ice. Her hair turned white. Elsa, your sister is dead because of you. Yeah.